next song. This is a fun story. I can just get my breath back. Um, this song was supposed to be the single on the Buckingham Nix album. Um, <clears throat> when Lindsay and I moved to Los Angeles, probably around, we think, 1971, around there. And we became really good friends with Lottie. I mean, like, really good friends. We were always together. And we were making that, making that record, and there was this song that we all really loved. And it was, a, it was a definite standout on the record. And so, we really did think that we'd made the best record that we could ever make. And this song was going to be the beginning of it. So, I don't think anybody ever even heard it, because Polydor dropped the record three months after it was released. So, it was like, there you were making this great record and you were really excited and you had these amazing songs and then it was back to being a cleaning lady and it was like you decided to like deal with it. And so, we decided, <laughs> should I get the mop? I, I have the feeling I need to bring the mop out here. Uh, we decided that we would actually do this song for you, but you have to listen to this history. So this song was written probably in around 1971, maybe right before we moved to LA. Maybe right after, I don't remember. So, so, but let's just say 73. So, <laughs> mathematics aren't my great suit, but 73, 83, 93, 2003, 2013, 14, 15, 16. That is 43 years. Great Elton John song called We're Still Standing! So Lottie said, let's do it. Let's just do this song. Because you never got to do it and we loved it. So here it is. It's called Crying in the Night. <laughs> 